Now, I want to I do something right now. Because I think every, I know at least every black male in this room became a man because of Pam Greer. <laughs> Pam Greer is in the house. I just want to say, because of this woman here, I was, I sat in the theater right here at the Paramount Theater and saw Foxy Brown mess my life up. No woman could ever step in after Pam Greer. I go back to my campus, nope, don't think so, nope, don't think so, you ain't Foxy Brown. I'm looking for Foxy Brown. I remember sitting in a theater <laughs> watching Foxy Brown <laughs> and this brother with his woman jumped up, whoa, and his woman shocked him. <laughs> Pam Greer ain't here with you, you better sit down. <laughs> but I want to say this to y'all, I'll tell you, I had a crazy four years in Denver in college, I came back, I saw another side of Denver. I had a wonderful uncle who has passed, who took care of me when I was out here in college, man. And I love him, his family's here. I'm gonna say all of you people out here, the reason I am what I am today, I was lucky to have a mother and father who cared enough to keep me in line, but also allowed me to have my dream. Because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end it with this. This is the first joke my dad ever told me. Yes, he did do that too. My father told me a joke. It's about in college, about a boy writing in college. It's a boy went to college. You now you go to college, you think you're growing, what happened to you? And he would write them long letters to his father, you know, Dad, I'm having a great time in college, man, everything's going cool. Or, Could you send me some money? Well, after a couple years, he just, hey, no mun, no fun, your son. <laughs> and his dad wrote back, too bad, so sad, your dad. <laughs> Yo, thank you very much. Peace.